This document in Kerry County Museum's collection dates from the 5th of August, 1582. With its spidery handwriting in Elizabethan English, you'd expect some important information or classified secret to be revealed when it's deciphered. But actually, you'd be disappointed to discover that all it says is that money owed to a man called Edward Denny should be paid to him, and it's signed by William Cecil, Lord Burley. A bit of business administration, financial housekeeping by a bean counter, so pretty unremarkable really. That is, until you look into the origins of the debt. You see, the bean counter, William Cecil, was Queen Elizabeth I's right-hand man, and what Denny was being paid for was his services in helping to put down the rebellion of the last Earl of Desmond. One of those services was his active involvement in the massacre of 600 men at Dunanor in Smerwick Harbour in November 1580. These were Italian and Spanish soldiers sent to aid the Irish revolt by the Pope and the King of Spain, who were both pursuing their own agendas. The unfortunate soldiers were besieged by 4,000 English Crown forces in Dunanore, and despite surrendering, all except the higher-ranked officers were hacked to death. Edward Denny, who was later granted 600 acres in and around Tralee, was in the thick of the slaughter, and possibly also his cousin, Sir Walter Raleigh. Yes, that Raleigh, intrepid voyager to the New World, famous for bringing back potatoes and tobacco. Nowadays, we'd classify what happened in Dunanore as an atrocity, a war crime, but given that these were brutal times, Denny and Raleigh probably didn't see it as unusually savage. And that callousness is what is revealed in this document, the cost for the slaughter, the butcher's bill if you like, calmly and coldly reckoned in pounds, shillings and pence, specifically 167 pounds, 16 shillings and 6 pence sterling, which works out at about 600,000 euro today. Something to contemplate if you take a trip out west to Smerig to this beautiful tranquil spot and gaze at the sculpture commemorating the massacred soldiers. <laughs>